Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn and solve exercise questions 1 to 18, exercise 4a, chapter 4. Chapter name is Rational Numbers of Class 7th of Composite Mathematics Textbook. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos. And please visit my blog messgrade.com for more information regarding the textbook solutions of CBSC, ICSC and other state board. Let's get started and solve some questions of the chapter 4. Chapter name is Rational Numbers. Today we will learn and solve exercise questions 1 to 18, exercise 4a of chapter 4. Chapter name is Rational Numbers. Let's solve some questions. Now question number 11. Arrange in order from the least to greatest. First bit is 1 divided by 3. 3 by 7 and 2 by 5. We have to first convert this uh, convert these equal uh, convert these rational numbers to equivalent rational numbers. Then we have to find out the which is the least, that is the which is the smallest rational number, uh, then which is the largest, that is the greatest rational number. We have to arrange the uh, rational numbers in ascending order. So first convert these rational numbers into equivalent rational number. First, find out the LCM of this denominator. So, LCM of 3, 7, 5 is 3 multiplied with 7 is 21. 21 multiplied with 5 is 105. Now, convert these sections 1 divided by 3, 3 by 7, and 2 by 5 into equivalent rational number. Convert these rational numbers 1 by 3, 3 by 7, and 2 by 5 into equivalent rational number that is equating the denominator with the LCM by multiplying the uh, same number with both the numerator and denominator in 1 divided by 3 uh, first find out the number which we multiply with the denominator uh, denominator 3 we will get the LCM that is 105 so if we multiply 3 with 35 we will get 105. So, we have to multiply the same number 35 with the numerator 1. Now, 1 multiplied with 35 is 35 divided by 105. Now, we have to convert this section, this rational number 3 by 7 into equivalent rational number. That is, multiplying the denominator 7, oh, we have to find the number which we mm, multiply with the denominator that will be equal to the LCM that is 105. So, if we multiply 7 with 15, 15, 7 is 105. So, we have to multiply the same number 15 with the numerator 3. Now, 3 multiplied with 15 is 45. Now, 45 divided by 105, this is the equivalent rational number of 3 by 7. And 35 divided by 105, this is the equivalent rational number of 1 by 3. Now, we have to convert this rational number 2 by 5. 2 by 5 into equivalent rational number. That is, we have to multiply and find out the number which we multiply with the denominator 5. We will get the LCM which is equal to 105. Now, we have to multiply the denominator 5 with 21. 5 multiplied with 21 is 105. So, we have to multiply the same number 21 with the numerator 2. Now, 2 multiplied with 21 is 42. Now, 42 divided by 105 is the equivalent rational number of 2 by 5. Now we, uh, we get the rational uh, we get the denominator one 105 in all these three rational numbers. Now we have to arrange these rational numbers in ascending order, order that is the smallest to the greatest. So here uh, we have to comp we have to compare these rational numbers that is compare the numerator. Here numerator that is 35, 45 and 42. 35 is the smallest number 35 then 42 then 45 so 35 divided by 105 is the smallest rational number and 42 divided by 105 then is the middle rational number and 45 divided by 105 this is the greatest rational number now 35 divided by 105 this is the equivalent rational number of 1 by 3 now 1 by 3 then 42 divided by 105 this is the equivalent rational number of 2 by 5 and 
45 divided by 105. This is the equivalent decimal number of 3 by 7. 3 by 7. Now, now 1 by 3 is the smallest decimal number, that is the least decimal number, and 3 by 7 is the greatest decimal number. So this is the arrangement of the decimal numbers from the least to the greatest. So this is the answer. 1 by 3 is the least decimal number, then 2 by 5, then 3 by 7. 3 by 7 is the greatest decimal number. So when we arrange the rational numbers from ascending order that is in ascending order that is the smallest to the greatest rational number, first we have to uh, find out the LCM then we have to convert all these rational numbers into equivalent rational number that is equal the denominator with the LCM that is, that is we have to multiply the same number with both the numerator and denominator then we will get the rational number that will be the equivalent rational number of that given rational number. Then we will compare, then we get the rational number with equal denominators. Now we have to compare all these equal denominators, that is we have to compare the numerator. The smallest numerator, smallest value is the smallest rational number and greatest numerator that is the greatest rational number. This is the formula. Now question number second bit minus 9 by 6 minus 4 by 3 and minus 17 by 12. We have to arrange these rational numbers from the least to the greatest. So first find out the LCM of the denominator that is 6, 3, 12. So LCM of 6, 3, 12 which is in prime factorization of 6 is 2 multiplied with 3 and prime factorization of 12 is 2 multiplied with 2 multiplied with 3. That is 2 multiplied with 2 multiplied with 3. This is the 12. That is the 12 is the LCM of this denominator 6, 3 and 12. Now we have to convert these rational numbers 9 by 6, 4 by 3 and 17 by 12 into equivalent rational number. That is equal the denominator with the LCM which is 12. Now in the denominator 6 if we multiply 6, 6 with 2, 6 to the 12. Now we have to multiply the same number 2 um, with the numerator 9. 9 to the 18. Now minus 18 divided by 12 is the equivalent decimal number of minus 9 by 6. Minus 4 by 3. We have to multiply the uh, denominator 3 with 4. 3, 4 to 12 which is the LCM. Um, so we have to multiply the number 4 with the numerator minus 4. Minus 4 multiplied with 4 is 16. Minus 16 divided by 12. This is the equivalent decimal number of minus 4 by 3. Now minus 17 divided by 12. And 12 here is the denominator which is equal to the LCM which is 12. So we have to multiply the number 1 with the both numerator and denominator. That will be Minus 17 multiplied with 1 is minus 17 and 12 multiplied with 1 is 12. So minus 17 divided by 12 is the equivalent decimal number of, uh, of itself. That is minus 17 divided by 12. Now we get all the rational numbers with equal denominator that is equal to 12. All these rational numbers have equal denominator 12. Now we have to compare these rational numbers that is compare the numerator. Here minus 18, minus 17, minus 16. Here we have to find the smallest rational number. Here uh, the positive denominator uh, which is more, uh, which is greater, the more uh, here minus 18. 18 is a greater number. If we uh, take the positive 18, that is 18 greater than 17 is greater than 16. But here minus sign is here. So, the, so the more than that is the negative sign with the greater number that will be the smallest rational number that is minus 18 here minus 18 is less than minus 17 is less than minus 16 now minus 18 divided by 12 is the smallest rational number then minus 17 divided by 12 then minus 16 divided by 12 now minus 18 divided by 12 the, is the equivalent decimal number of minus 9 divided by 6. And minus 17 divided by 12 
this is the equivalent decimal number of itself only and minus 16 divided by 12 is the equivalent decimal number of minus 4 by 3. So this is the arrangement of rational numbers in ascending order that is from the least to the greatest. Now question number third bit minus 3 by 5, 7 divided by minus 10 and minus 5 by 6. Uh, we have to arrange the uh, rational numbers in least from the least to the greatest that is in ascending order. First find out the LCM of this denominator, LCM of 5, 10, 6. Uh, 6 is the prime factorization of 2 and 3, 10 is the prime factorization of 2 and 5. So 2 multiplied with 3 multiplied with 5. So 6, 5 is 30. 30 is the LCM of these denominators 5, 10 and 6. Now we have to convert these rational numbers into equivalent rational number. Minus 3 by 5. Now this denominator 5, we have to find the number uh, which we multiply with the number denominator 5. We will get the denominator which is equal to the LCM that is 30. Now if we in the table 5, if we multiply 5 with 6, 5, 6 is a 30. Now we have to multiply the same number 6 with the numerator minus 3. Now minus 3 multiplied with 6 is 18. Now minus 18 divided by 30 is the equivalent decimal number of minus 3 by 5. Now we have to convert this rational number 7 by minus 10 into equivalent decimal number. Uh, we, have to multi we have to find the number which we multiply with the denominator 10 will get the denominator which is equal to the LCM that is 30. Now if we multiply 10 with 3 is 30. But here minus 10 so we have to multiply minus 10 with minus 3. Minus multiplied with minus is plus. Now 10 multiplied with 3 is 30. Now we have to multiply the same number minus 3 with the numerator 7. 7 3 is 21. Now it is minus 21. And minus 21 divided by 30 is the equivalent decimal number of 7 divided by minus 10. Now we have to convert this rational number minus 5 by 6 uh, and we have to multiply the number, uh, we have to find the number which we multiply with the denominator 6 which will be the equal to the LCM that is 30. Now if we multiply number 5 with the denominator 6, 6 5 is 30. Now we have to multiply the number, same number 5 with the numerator 5, 5 5 is 25. Now it is minus 25. Minus 25 divided by 30 is the equivalent rational number of minus 5 by 6. Now we get the rational number with equal denominator 30. Now we have to compare the numerator that is here 18, 21 and 25. Uh, 18 is the smallest number but here negative sign is here so it will be the greatest number. So minus 25. This is 25 is smallest. 25 is 25. Positive 25 is greatest number but minus 25 this will be the smallest number. So minus 25 is less than minus 21 is less than minus 18. Now minus 25 divided by 30 is the smallest decimal number then minus 21 by 30 then minus 18 by 30. This is the small. Uh, this is the greatest decimal number. Now, uh, this minus 21 by minus 25 divided by 30. This is the equivalent decimal number of minus 5 by 6. Now, minus 5 by 6 is the great, uh, the smallest decimal number. Then, minus 21 by 30 is the equivalent decimal number of 7 by minus 10. 7 by minus 10. Then. Uh, 18 divided by 30 and this is minus 3 by 5 is the equivalent rational number of 3 by 5. Now this is the uh, this is the rational number arranging in smallest to the greatest that is the least to the greatest rational number. So minus 5 by 6 is the smallest that is the least rational number and minus 3 by 5 this is the greatest rational number. So when we compare when we arrange the rational numbers from ascending order that is from greatest, smallest to the greatest rational number first find out the LCM of the 
denominator then we convert the uh, rational number into equivalent rational number that is we have to find the number which we multiply with the denominator that will be equal to the LCM so we have to multiply the same number in both the numerator and denominator then we will get the equivalent rational number and that will be the equivalent rational number uh, have the equal denominator now we have to compare these rational numbers with equal denominator so we have to compare the numerator now smallest number uh, is the smallest rational number and small and the bigger number with negative sign that will be the smallest rational number this is the formula 